2024 Ford Ranger Raptor. And we're gonna jump it right now. <laughs> Horsepower and torque. 405 horsepower, 430 pound feet of torque from a three liter EcoBoost V6. So the first time the Ranger Raptor's here in North America, it's been in Australia since the last gen, and this thing is pretty freaking sick. They've even had it in the UK as well, much detuned compared to what we get, thankfully, because I think this has enough power, but right now this isn't about power here, this is about Baja. Baja, through the little course here in uh, Utah is pretty sweet. Okay, do you like the looks of this thing compared to a normal Raptor, an F-150 Raptor? Oh, compared to an F-150 Raptor? I mean, I like it, but I don't like it more than that. However, it's not priced even remotely close to that, so I love what they did with this compared to the regular Ranger that we just drove. Yo, first thing I noticed, we don't have three amber lights, we don't have amber headlights. What's up with that? Yeah, I mean, I really do miss not having the amber headlights. The amber marker lights are not here because this truck is not wide enough, which makes total sense. But the funny thing that I noticed is that they actually engineered into the design. <laughs> they put little slots where you can't do that in the Whoa. aftermarket. <laughs> All right, we just did some big whoops. First time doing that in like a Raptor truck. This yeah. is pretty sick. So the reason that we don't have the amber uh, C clamp DRLs is because they kind of engineered this for the global market and they didn't need to have that here. Send it, Yuri. All right. Yes. So what do you think of the Raptor Splash on this one? I mean, it's actually pretty good. It kind of reminds me of the Bronco Raptor Splash, so I like it. And then uh, this is a wide body. What, it's like the three inch wider track than the regular Ranger? Uh, yeah, so the track width has been stretched out by nearly three inches. And then we also have wide body fenders, which look amazing. And then flares on top of those wider fenders as well. And then, um, <laughs> sorry, distracted for a second. Talk, steel, Yuri. Steel, Talk, bump, Yuri. steel bumpers? So yeah, we got steel bumpers, which actually look pretty cool. No winch on this one, which I don't think oh. you can get, at least not yet. Okay, I got, uh, I'm in Baja mode with uh, traction, whatever it's set to, and it is really holding me back, which kind of sucks. Yeah, so they're not allowing us to go to full traction off, so it is kind of reeling us back in here and there. But uh, I mean, it handles the bumps well, it's pretty comfy. Yeah, it is. But uh, this is also, I feel like a Subaru could do this yes, easily. Yes, exactly. And then we also have really nice looking wheels. We got 33s, but I did ask, the engineers if 35s will fit and they will apparently fit it's just that you'll have to uh stay on course here <laughs> you'll have to uh make some modifications to the perch collar and then you'll also potentially have to add like a spacer at the top of the uh suspension and to make it work there's issues with the live action shocks or whatever yeah because it'll place it in like a different uh a zone basically but it, you can fit 35s is the short answer but more importantly what would be the content of recommended tire for the ranger raptor the terrain contact at let's switch it up all right driving this bad boy so we've got a number of improvements compared to the regular ranger we've got reinforced frame rails and uh, reinforced shock towers. Basically this whole thing has been beefed up compared to the regular one. And there's actually not that much underneath that's shared with the regular Ranger in terms of chassis. Yeah, yeah, it's like the, the doors <laughs> and the windshield. <laughs> yeah, uh, so we obviously have Fox live valve shocks, which is really nice. They change between all the drive modes. So we are driving in Baja mode right now, which actually makes them soft, but then progressively stiffer because this is meant to be jumped so then when you're in the air, it can actually detect that and then uh, stiffen them up for your landing, which is pretty cool. And the cool thing about this compared to a Ford F-150 Raptor is it's smaller, more nimble, so you can go around and put it places more than you could with a regular F-150 Raptor or a Bronco Raptor. Yeah, so we will be doing some slower off-roading a little bit later in this video, but right now is the uh, fun high-speed stuff. This is the Baja Okay, stuff. so I'm gonna use these magnesium paddles to downshift and this 10 speed is way better than the one that's in the regular uh, Ranger. Oh Whoa. yeah, heck yeah. I'll okay. take that the, pretty well. Yeah, the, the suspension is really, really good. So they're, they're kind of pitching this thing as like a rally truck where you're supposed to take it for like high speed stuff. They can do the slower stuff, but that's how they're positioning this car. Truck compared to 
all the other uh, Raptors in the lineup. Do you like the sound? Uh, I don't love it, but <laughs> it is actually pretty decent for a V6. I, I'm just I think glad it sounds it's not great. a four-banger. Considering it's on a Ranger, I think it's appropriate. Let's listen to it from the outside. I mean, it does sound pretty good. It's kind of like trumpety, but hey, yeah. it kind of sounds like a regular F-150 uh, yeah. Raptor. And we got modes for it, so you can customize that. What's next, Jacob? Okay, Baja mode. So Baja mode has like anti-lag built into it. So when you let off the throttle for like a course like this, it's actually still pumping gas through the turbo and uh, letting it continue to spool so that you're, you're missing out on turbo lag, just like a rally car, which Honestly, it does kind of make a difference out here. Damn, this feels like it's so much more fun with the one traction off in Baja mode. Yeah, it, it oh, definitely helps. I need to retry. <laughs> and you can like rotate this thing under braking. Like it is actually really fun to drive it if you treat it like a rally car. Is, is it more fun than that STI we drove? I, I honestly don't remember it. Like that one was pretty good, but. To, to, I, me, to me, not yet. I, I love the suspension on this. Like you can pitch this thing in yeah. and then floor it. And here we go. Where, where the STI you here were we go, here we broken go. it by now. Big, big one. Oh, <laughs> I actually, the damping on that is really impressive. I feel like my F-150 Raptor, my Gen 1, probably would have had like a little yeah. bit more crash there. And then like you're stuck in these seats so much nicer than you would be in your Raptor. Yeah, yeah. And we got a Watts link rear suspension on this thing. So it's ready for this stuff. But we're going to go to the slower course and uh, slow things down a little bit. Use those front and rear lockers. Honestly, man, I wouldn't change the wheel size on this. This feels like I mean, dialed. I, I like how 35s look. For looks, yeah. But, but if I for actually performance, did this, this is good. But you know what? I got nowhere to do this around my house. No, exactly. You gotta get those 30, <laughs> Me neither. 35s, but they're Ford Giatos. <laughs> I got a Raptor that just goes to the dump every three weeks, and that's <laughs> about it. <laughs> All right, so away from the Baja stuff, away from the jumps, we're slowing things down, some slow rock crawling. How did you like it on the Baja stuff in the jump? Pretty cool, eh? Yeah, it was pretty damn cool. I was thoroughly impressed, but here I'm kind of even more impressed so far because of the ground clearance. Like, we have a, we're doing lead follow up a mountain with an F-150 Raptor in front of us, and I feel like I'm gonna bottom out a couple times, but I haven't in this thing. Yeah, it's, it's so nice and nimble through here. Like, yeah. you can really, like, pick where you're going and put the truck in easier spots than I think that F-150 Raptor can. Yeah, and we're in rock crawl mode, which puts us into four low. We unlock the rear diff, and we're also using this front camera, which is really nice to have over stuff like this. And before we keep going with the rock crawling, if you want to get your own Ranger Raptor before everyone else, yeah, hit up tsb.truecar.com right now. Do it, or just get a regular Ranger if you're interested in one of those. But these are priced so well. Yeah, 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 we'll get there, we'll get there. Okay, and then interior-wise, so using all the screens and stuff, it's actually very nice. All the drive modes, all the animations are awesome in the digital gauge cluster. Like everything about this is great. We got hard buttons for climate that are below our digital climate menu as well. <laughs> and we also have heated seats and a heated steering wheel in this one. Yeah, okay, steering wheel is cool. We got the, the red line on it or the orange line, orange stitching. Code orange, Yuri. We got orange on the inside everywhere. The seats are super comfortable. Oh, is, is it red, Yuri? This is orange. <laughs> Thank and you. And so is that original <laughs> No, it's not. Ranger. It See the first orange. video, everyone, for that. That uh, is orange. Uh, so the seats are actually really comfortable. They're unique to the Ranger Raptor as well. Oh, okay, and then in the Ranger Raptor, we also have this little glove box thing right here. It's cool, nice materials, lots of like soft touch everywhere, which is really cool too. A noticeable difference from the base Ranger that we drove. And we got seat presets too. Yeah, which is really nice good. on your side. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, wired, wireless. We got a good amount of storage for your wireless charger and for your armrest too. And it is nice and soft. All right, Yuri, continue up this mountain peak. I'm this is where the ground clearance comes in. I'm gonna use my camera. Not that I know if I'm bottoming out or not. So what you want to do is place your wheels pretty much what the Raptor's doing. Yeah. <laughs> See there where I thought we'd bottom, bottom out? Go more on the right side here. Yeah. We wow. got skid plates under the whole thing, basically, which is kind of required out here. Yeah, yeah, the steel bumper stuff. is cool. It all works really well for this. This is, a, this is a Raptor at the end of the day, and they did not screw it up. It's cool that it can do a little bit of everything. Yeah. And I, like it's soft enough. Like which drive mode was it softest in? Like normal, I think it was softer on the roads. Yeah, so the engineer said that, yeah, normal is actually gonna be the softest in most conditions because it's not gonna firm up on jumps and stuff. But Baja was nice, but yeah, you really need to turn off traction, have some fun with it, and then like all the way off. And then apparently you can do Baja mode, rear wheel drive traction all the way off. And that's, uh, what did the Australian guy call it? Like, go express yourself mode? Yeah, yeah, we've, like, we've, we've there's not, some sort of Australian yeah. expression. We've not been able to express ourselves here, but <laughs> it, I could feel that it probably is really fun. Bro, look at this view out here. 
This yeah. is crazy. This, this is wild. America, how do you have stuff like this? It's a pretty big country. I guess we also have some stuff yeah, like yeah. this <laughs> on the west coast of Canada. <laughs> we just go left and right. They go up, down, left, and right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And Yuri, I know you're dying to know the towing capacity while we're trying to trek this, this mountain. I, I know the towing capacity. What is it? 5,500 pounds? Oh, so close, Yuri. If this was prices right, you'd be right. 5510. Ah, uh, and then the <laughs> non Raptor is 7500 pounds. That's right, 7500. Good job. In every motor configuration? Yes. <laughs> Although the payload goes up with the 4x2 configuration. I'm run, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what we forgot to mention? What's that? <laughs> we're at the. The Raptor Assault School. Oh, that's where we were doing the jumps and stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the so, Ranger Raptor ooh, Assault School. Okay, okay. I'm going to get that guy's drone. I saw where it fell. Oh, you see? Yeah, okay, I go <laughs> rescue a drone. Jacob, your turn to drive. All right. That's the transition point. <laughs> the drone was found. Yes. Okay. So it's actually really easy to operate all the settings through this infotainment. If we press this little uh, uh, desert sideways uh, Christmas tree snowflake mountain thing. Off-road off mode button. <laughs> yeah. So you can actually lock your front and rear diffs, which is really nice out here. And this thing has been performing perfectly. I don't even think I felt a single wheel slip. And using all of the horsepower down this mountain, Yuri, <laughs> I do want to say that it does feel a little bit slower than the Bronco Raptor. That's because it actually is. But I did talk to the engineer and he said that even though this has less horsepower and torque, it is the same engine and that is down to tuning. So. You kind of suggest that the uh, aftermarket may well, take care of they that. They will eventually unlock it, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it feels good. It's a good amount of power for this truck. It is. It's nice and it's... torquey and stuff, and the way that the 10-speed works with it is great. And then what's cool about this thing as well, it's got the push to start. You yeah. can use the app, so there are a lot of conveniences attached to this as well. Yeah. Traversing down this mountain, these seats are very comfortable. I really like the uh, lumbar, considering I just jumped this thing and my spine is slightly hurting. And like the <laughs> non-Raptor Ranger, we can drop the back seat thing all the way flat. The bottom can go up. Jacob doesn't really fit behind himself at six foot one and a half, and Yuri fits great behind himself and behind Jacob at five foot eight. Thank you for summarizing that. Oh, and we also have an electronic rear window that we can open if we just uh, push this right here. And we have full auxiliary switches, which is super awesome, and amazing cup holders that fit small cups perfectly. That's right. All right, so we're gonna go a little bit faster now. I'm gonna close this window so we're not all covered in dust. And dude, through these ruts, so because this is a lot narrower than an F-150 Raptor, you can take a totally different line than the truck in front of us and like really send this thing. Yeah, let me get some uh, footage. Yeah, yeah, take your phone out and just film this. Oh, my head. <laughs> yeah, I know. Hold on tight, Yuri. Hold on tight, Yuri. <laughs> this is how we get footage on a, on a press trip where we have no idea what's going on. <laughs> look at this steel grip. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that Raptor line, see? Gotta go on the inside here. I could take whatever line I want through here because this is so much narrower. 33 is not hampering me down here. 35s only for looks would have been nice, but I don't feel like I need them. With all that out of the way, I think it's time we get to the price. It is a bargain, Yuri! Bargainville. The start at 55,470 US dollars. American. Or 80,140 Canadian dollars. Canadian? I mean, overall, it's a crazy bargain. Like, hearing something like a Raptor start with a five in American dollars is yeah. the bargain of the century. And then compared to, I guess, how much a Bronco Raptor costs. Yeah. And then a F 150 Raptor costs. You're saving like huge amounts of money. Like, those are in Canada, those are like six figure trucks. Okay, so <laughs> say you like off roading specifically where we live in Ontario, in Canada. This makes way more sense. Then a newer uh, V6 Raptor. Yeah, F 150. Or, or even the Bronco Raptor because they're so wide their track width and everything this fits in more places this is kind of jeep like but no matter how wide a raptor r is still wins yes because supercharged v8 with 720 horsepower but this is awesome <laughs> i'm very excited to see them on the road and i'll be very excited to see if you bought one on tsp.truecar.com thanks for watching both of our ranger videos and uh we'll see you guys in the next video which is a monster truck oh <laughs> I'm Jacob. I'm Yuri. And we're going for a jump.